So today we are going to explore Wellington's version of Central Park. This morning we're waking up at Nomad's Wellington. It's pretty awesome hostel because they make your own pancake for free every morning. And it's only about 10 minute walk from the beautiful Wellington Garden, which is gonna be our activity of the day. The Wellington Botanic Garden is huge. It's over 26 hectares and there's many different entrances to get to it from the city center. And there's even maps to show you all the different things to see and activities around the gardens. But for Robin and I, we do have a map, but we just tend to go where our feet take us. The first striking thing about the Wellington Garden is that aside from the paths which are all concrete, it looks like a beautiful bush, native forest, all of these kind of things. And we are in the city center of New Zealand's capital city, which is absolutely amazing. Weirdly enough, we can't hear any of the vehicle around and we know there's a lot of busy street around, so I don't really know how that works, but it feels so peaceful and quiet. The only thing we can hear are the ducks and oh man, there is a lot of them. Every city park needs its token duck pond and Wellington's no different. They have a really cute one here with lots of little streams running from it. There's even little waterfalls and gentle rapids and there's a duck pond feeding bin right next to it so you don't even need to bring your own food. The duck pond's also surrounded by all this beautiful native forest, nickel palm trees, lots of ferns. It's just such a beautiful environment to be in. And admittedly, Robin and I spend way too much time watching these ducks. I feel like we're kids again and we're just totally mesmerized by watching all these ducks sort of feeding themselves and washing themselves, fighting each other. It's really awesome. All right, so we're gonna be leaving the ducks behind and keep on exploring the Wellington Botanic Garden. Although we don't really follow the map, there is one dot on the map that I just can't miss. It's the waterfall. There is no park, recreational reserve or national park that doesn't feature a waterfall in New Zealand. So we can't miss this one. It's a really small one but super picturesque. After that we move on to the fragrant garden which features heaps of plants that have really nice smells. It's quite amazing the variety of them. So apparently there is a tree house with a lift. Sounds kind of routine, but let's give it a shot. <laughs> Basically, the tree house is actually the visitor center of the Wellington Botany Garden. It's pretty cool. From the top, we can see a really different view of the canopy, and we can see how central the Botany Garden is because it's surrounded by ton of houses from Wellington and living nearby. As we climb higher and higher up the Wellington Botanic Garden, we discover the Cable Car Museum of Wellington's historic cable car that's been running for over a hundred years and it's the only public running cable car still going in New Zealand today. So at the top of the cable car is the Cable Car Museum which is free entry and it goes through the evolution of Wellington's cable cars throughout the years, starting with some pretty precarious designs where passengers sat on the outside of the cable car. This is cozy to say the least. I definitely prefer the newer designs of the cable cars. There's no way you would have me hanging off the side of this cable car rising up over the top of Wellington City. How they came up with the new cable cart for Wellington. The Cable Car Museum also features some really quaint items of the everyday life of Wellingtonians back in the days. There is also the huge machinery that helped operating the cable car which is full on display. It's quite cool and there is also some more luxurious cable cars. But we don't hang out in the Cable Car Museum for too long because the Botany Garden has just so much to offer. So we are quickly back on the track exploring the area and checking out the white dive. And this time we have to use the map because we need to make our way back to our hostel and to do so we need to find our way back where we started. So we are taking the Pukitiya track which is going to take us all the way from the top of the Wellington cable car to where we started. Welcome to Wellington, New Zealand's capital city. <laughs> what do you think about it? It's pretty cool, right? Seriously guys, the Wellington Botanic Garden is definitely one of the best free things to do in Wellington. So we both pretty excited, we have a blast. And we're back to Nova's Backpackers for the evening before tomorrow heading on the road again toward our next destination, 
which is gonna be true wilderness. We'll leave you with that. As you heard recently, shakaras are everywhere. Even right here that I'm talking to you, the only thing I can hear now is shakaras. Like, 